What's up, everybody? I'm taking a chill because it's hot as balls here. And it's so hot that the AC up front cannot keep up with the heat coming through the windshield. So I'm having to sit in the back with a fan aimed at me just to try to keep cool enough so that I don't melt into a great big fat ball of sludge. Ish. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, it's like ridiculous. But. As you know, I always try to find a way to have some fun. And over the 4th, I had a bunch of time to just find something to do. So I thought I'd share it with y'all. Have some fun. This is <laughs> this is the first part of it. It got a little weird. Here we go. So look, I never know what I'm going to see or where I'm going to see it. But weird shit just <laughs> happens to me on a regular. So I'm sitting at the Choctaw Casino Resort. Uh, in Oklahoma and there's a travel plaza here in a big casino I went last night had a blast if uh, if you're ever out this way in Oklahoma and you get a chance to go it's it's a lot of fun um, you know I, I wanted to have the whole experience so uh, I took a whole day and just really had a good time I actually came here with $23 in my pocket and I'm leaving with 300 However, I'm not leaving until tonight when it gets good and dark and everybody's gone. So I'm sitting here. This just rolls in out of nowhere. Can you use, oh shit, did you guys see that? And there's a garbage can lid that's sliding across the, uh, the look, there's a bucket and a huge garbage can lid. But this is the fucking hilarious part. I was sitting here and I'm watching across the way and I see this come flying over the guardrail. <laughs> and I thought, boy, I sure hope there's nobody in that thing. <laughs> That's a porta shitter. And if you look, you can see all the blue juice has leaked out of it going down the dirt. <laughs> I was like, oh God, please let me see somebody come out of that. So yeah, I mean, and it just came out of nowhere. It has been so hot here that uh, the truck, the AC in the truck has not been able to keep up. So I ended up hanging a blanket up uh, from the top bunk and just letting it hang so that at least the AC in the back of the truck could you know, just keep the back cooled down and I've got a fan. But the wind, it just came out of nowhere and like all this dirt is just dirt and dust and obviously debris that was originally over there. Behind that thing is where the, the uh, garbage can actually is. It's actually over, let me see if I can get a shot of it. Okay, so you see where that red pole is? The can is actually sitting up near where that white sign is, right about there. So that blue from there all the way over to there. <laughs> oh man. But uh yeah, that that was the uh huge bolt of lightning was slightly unexpected. So I'll uh I'll let this thing record see if I can capture any more of that. Look at this guy. He's he's walking like, "Oh god, don't let me get blown over." Oh man, I missed one. Damn it, that was huge too. Oh, he's picking it up. Good call. Yeah, there you go, buddy. All right. Good job. Look at him. <laughs> oh man, there was another huge bolt of lightning. I'm gonna. I'm hoping to see if I can catch another one. That was really awesome. But uh, yeah, this storm, it just it came in within. I'm gonna say, 30 minutes. It started to darken up just a little bit, but it was so fast how quickly it went from just a little bit of dark to I mean an actual legitimate you know storm that collected I was like wow that's really cool so anyway I had to share that with you because when I saw the porta shitter fall over that that was it for me I was like I got to show that because uh, how many how many times do you watch the wind carry a porta shitter over a guardrail so yeah that ended up being a lot of fun <laughs> I just I never know when shit's gonna happen so that went down. Well, that night I decided, okay, let's roll. And I decided 
I wanted to go ahead and get to Dallas. Now, there were two different shows going on Dallas-Fort Worth. Fort Worth actually had a larger fireworks show going on, but for me to get to Fort Worth, I would have ended up having to go a lot further and then try to find a place to park, and it just would have been a lot more mess. So uh, Dallas had a show going on at the Cotton Bowl, and I was like, wait, what? I have to go. So I found a uh, parking spot at an Albertsons grocery store, uh, called an Uber and went. However, uh, I stopped that night at a Flying J on the way so that I could shower up and you know clean up and everything. And so at any rate, I wound up staying at that Albertson pretty much most of the day because it had gotten up to 103 degrees. 103. That is really hot. It was 103 all the way up until like 6 or so. And then by 7 or 8, I left at 8 to go catch an Uber to go to the uh, Cotton Bowl. And by the time I left, it was still over 100. And when I left the Cotton Bowl, it was still like 97 so it did not, it did not cool down much at all. But um, at any rate, it was a really amazing time, and I was like, I gotta share this. So hold on, here we go. What's up, everybody? So I'm in Dallas, Texas, at the Cotton Bowl, where they are doing the Fourth of July fireworks. So I had to share this. I can't really do a whole lot because I, I gotta make sure I have enough battery to get an Uber back to my truck, or I'm gonna have a really bad evening. <laughs> I just know I'm at an Albertsons, I just don't know where to fuck that. It's like 20 minutes from where I am here, so I mean, it was an expensive Uber ride, but whatever. I'm coming inside the Cotton Bowl. Here we go. Ooh. It's weird without the field. So there you have it. That was my fun time at the Cotton Bowl. I ended up uh, going back to the train station, which is up towards the front there. And they have a bunch of concrete seats there. So I had to sit there for like 30 minutes in order for the Uber driver to catch me. Uh, and it only ended up costing me $48 to go from the Cotton Bowl to where I was at at Albertsons, which was not that big a ride. I was like, wow. <laughs> So in total, I ended up dropping about 70, 75 bucks to go there and back. But you know what? It was, uh, it was a good time. It was worth it. I really enjoyed it. So Dallas, well done. Uh, had a really good time. 
and uh, I hope you all got a chance to, to enjoy the fireworks with me. It was really cool. I really wished I could have played the actual, um, you know, music that they were playing and, you know, had you hear the fireworks popping because they were, oh my God, they were loud. But uh, as you all know, if you play that, they end up shutting your video down. So I had to add my own track to it and that was all I could get a hold of at the time. So at any rate, I just wanted to kind of share all that with you. It was a really good time over uh, the, the past, what, four days. So I'm now uh, getting loaded and heading to Cleveland, Tennessee, where I'll drop uh, this next load off. And uh, after that, I'm not sure where I'm headed to, but I can tell you that I am starting my vacation July the 22nd. And um, yeah, that's going to be fun. So stay tuned. Uh, I've got some news coming up on that and what's going down. So uh, I hope you all had a good time. Till next time, we'll see you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye.